Hi Pisces, this is the Empress and I'm happy to have you guys here today. Alright, so we're going to jump into December 1st to the 15th. General reads, whatever pops out, pops out. Um, so, let's hop into it. It's going to be for December 1st through the 15th. What messages do you have for Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising Pisces. Pisces at the bottom of the deck we have the page of wands fire energy Leo Sagittarius Aries but this is about communication I feel like there's lots of communication coming in or there's a need to or you're feeling burdened about what was what is being said here or what someone is saying let's take a look and see Okay, I feel like you want closure and you want to start fresh. Okay, so the first part that we have is the Nine of Cups. So this is about desires. This is about what you want. This is about a wish fulfillment, okay? So the challenge is the World card. Now this talks about closures. Closing out a chapter to start a fresh new one. Page of Pentacles, the beginning stages, okay? I feel like you were wanting to press the reset button on something, on a situation here. In the past, I'm sensing Knight of Wands energy, fire, sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, but this does talk about temporary, rushing in and rushing out. So maybe you feel as some though something was temporary in the past, but I feel like there's still hope for a situation here. I'm sensing wish fulfillment. It's something about a wish fulfillment, um, a wish coming true. Um, and I feel like there could possibly be stability um, or family get togethers or family, a home situation, or there's a marriage involved here. I feel like you're wanting to get clarity or an understanding here about something here with this Ace of Swords here. Leo, I'm sorry, not Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is energy. But someone could be moving, someone um, external to you um, could be moving a little slow or they feel as if you're taking your time or there's an offer here. And I feel like this is something that you possibly or could possibly be waiting on here. With the three of wands. But I feel like a second chance is going to be granted here um, with the judgment card as your outcome. So this is reviving something, something coming back to life. Um, a second chance on something. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see all of the signs, actually. I feel like... Um, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved here with this King of Cups. Maybe you could have possibly been going through something financial here in the past or was feeling left out or rejected here with the Five of Pentacles. But it could have possibly been something that was temporary. And I feel like you're really hoping that, that you come out on top here. You're hoping that this the, I'm sensing like you're hoping to come out on top. You're hoping um, that something go, goes through for you or you're hoping to gain some type of attention or it's just success here. You're hoping for the best. But I definitely do feel as if there's something it could possibly be in regards to home life or stability. You're wanting to be set here with this Queen of Pentacles energy. You're wanting to be um, financially stable. But I feel like someone's possibly looking for control or trying to find a way to have control here with this Emperor card. Could be dealing with the Aries. But I definitely feel like you're hoping that something works out. You're waiting for this a ship to come in and you're hoping that this works out here with this Three of Pentacles. This talks about building um, a foundation, a partnership, 
feel like you're waiting for something to work out, but I feel like some something is going to come in. It's going to come in quickly or someone is returning um, and they're coming in really quickly here. And I feel like it could possibly be a second chance on something. We have this Knight of Swords energy, which is really, really fast-paced energy. Something rushing in or someone rushing out. Um, but it's really rational, irrational movement, okay? And, it's, and it happens really quick. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Right. Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Eight of Pentacles. So Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy, but this does talk about putting that effort in um, and working diligently towards something that you want. Okay, so I feel like something that you possibly have been wanting or something that you want to see go in your favor, I feel like could possibly go in your favor. It's going to happen really, really quickly. Um, something, something or someone is possibly going to be rushing in um, and putting in that effort. Again, I see something being revived or um, a second chance here in regards to something here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? We got the hangman popped out, which is the card of Pisces, but this talks about delays. Okay, so let's see. The Queen of Wands energy is pretty um, spunky. She's spunky energy. Um, she's upbeat, up tempo, fun, very passionate. I feel like this could be going on in the home, okay, or business, I'm sensing as well. I'm sensing business energy as well. Let's see why this Emperor card is here. Yeah. Being in control. Maybe someone external to you feel as if you're very powerful could feel as if um, you have everything under control, possibly very independent here with this Nine of Pentacles. Um, this is the Singles card as well, but this does talk about having everything together, okay? And with this Emperor card, he's in charge of everything. He's in the lead. So maybe someone is feeling like, you know, you came in and took over. But I definitely see something being revived um, and someone rushing in or something happening really quick to where someone is putting in effort or putting in, uh, putting in work is what I'm sensing. pull a few cards for love and let's see what comes out for love well let's just do you have for Pisces and love for December 1st through the 15th all right please give me clarifiers Pisces. Please give me clarifiers for Pisces. Okay, so, all right, some of you guys are possibly getting engaged or you're taking things to the next level. A lot of you guys are possibly trying to release an X here. This is at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys could possibly be going through releasing your ex and clearing your energy, okay? All right, so I feel like 
once that is done a lot of you guys have engagement potential taking things to the next level your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so some of you guys are leveling up in your relationships we have the knight of cups here pisces cancer scorpio's energy but this definitely does talks about an offer okay so some of you guys are possibly getting engaged congratulations or you're taking your relationship to the next level okay all right so your next card is worth waiting for Okay, so divine timing is at work in your love life. So the clarifying part that we have for that is the four of pentacles. So this talks about clinging, holding on to. And I still feel, I feel as if there's definitely divine timing for everything. Okay, so I feel as if some of you guys are ascending. Yeah, some of you guys are making plans here with the two of wands okay this is definitely in the future some of you guys have a future uh love partner that you are ascending with the level of commitment is you're leveling up all right so yeah i feel as if things are working in your favor divine timing is definitely working in your love life right now um with this ace of wands this is definitely the yes card this is creative energy this is sexual energy this is definitely fire passion type of energy here okay so i feel like divine timing is working divine is working in your love life right now but i feel like this is going to happen once you let an ex go okay it's time to clear your space clear that energy so new love can come in new um potential partners can come in okay all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in with me. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below, share, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button, all right? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.